Bill Cosby was free from prison after being sentenced in 2018 to three to 10 for sexual assault and drugging women, allegedly. Bill Cosby was released from prison and upon his release, he made this statement. He said, I have never changed my stance nor my story. I have always maintained my innocence. And those were his words. He stuck to his guns. Even comedian Cedric the Entertainer said, Bill Cosby is a trailblazer. And you know he held to his guns because in May he was denied parole. Why was he denied parole? Because he refused to go to a sex counseling. He refused to be a part of that. He said, no, I'll just do my time. But as of today, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court ruled that there were too many reasons why his conviction could not stand. The first reason was, it was unduly prejudicial to allow five women with similar stories to testify against him. Secondly, the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania ruled a deal was cut with Bill Cosby in a civil deposition saying if he testified, he would not face a criminal charge. The Supreme Court went on to say, the deal was broken by prosecutors. Therefore, the judge vacated the conviction and the sentence after more than two years in prison, his conviction and his sentence was vacated. The Supreme Court went on to say, Bill Cosby's rights were violated for due process reasons. He must be discharged and barred of any future prosecution. So they basically saying, you can't bring this case back up with these same people. We're not going to let you do that. This is a closed case when it comes to dealing with them. His wife that played on the Cosby show with him, Felicia Rashad, she took to Twitter and she got a lot of backlash from Twitter. So she had to come back on and remake a tweet because people were offensive about it. Lisa Bloom, which is an attorney for three of the victims, said it was a slap in the face to the victims. Another accuser, Victoria Valentino, said that she was outraged about it. Gloria Alred said the overturned conviction did not vindicate Bill Cosby's conduct. So we have some people that are gonna be angered by it and some people are gonna feel that justice was served because some people believe that he was innocent. Some people believe that he was guilty. That's why this conversation is allegedly, which it shouldn't be allegedly no more. But when you read the, the details of the case, you have to use allegedly because the prosecutor, they almost tried to entrap him with his own words by telling him, if you plead in this civil case, then we won't charge you with a criminal case. But what happened? They brought his same words from the civil case to the criminal case, and that's what got the conviction. And that's what the Supreme Court judge is saying, like, no, it was some trickery in this. Even if he's knowing that, yeah, y'all had him, y'all y'all got him. But you guys tricked him to get him. Because I was reading some of what the judge said. He said the reason the district attorney guy, his name is Bruce Castor, the reason that he made that agreement with Bill Cosby is because he felt that it wouldn't hold up in court for the, the, the charges that they were trying to charge him with.
with the sexual assault and the rape and stuff. He said, the judge, this is out of the judge's mouth. The judge said that Bruce Castor knew that that probably wouldn't hold up. And that's why he made that deal with Bill Cosby. So it'd be kind of like he was trapping him, which it worked. But with good lawyers on his side, they went and dug back in and found out, whoa, this is not cool. So, you know, it's a good thing, 83 years old, but we also still have to always feel for the victims because nobody would want that to happen to their sister, mother, wife, or nobody else either, allegedly. So we definitely have to always uh, feel for victims too. And in this circumstance, dealing with the, the court system, they made both parties become a victim. If we want to, if, if we could use that family, if we can say he victimized those women, but then Bruce Castor victimized him, if you get me. But at the end of the day, I wonder, since he was proven to be innocent, will there be any recompense for Bill Cosby? And how can you give a person recompense once their image has been tainted? by a narrative, especially a narrative that goes out over these social media wave links. You know, once things hit social media, they're all across the world. So how can his image be repaid or repaired? Because we're always gonna have the people that say, no, I believe he's guilty. Then you're gonna have people that say, no, I believe he's innocent. You're gonna have your friends and family or even your community that says, no, he's innocent. And then you're gonna have the victim's friends and family in their communities and say, no, he's guilty. He's getting away just because he's a, a celebrity. Which for me, that's neither here nor there. I'm just going by what the court documents say and the Supreme Court judge say. And the Supreme Court judge said that he found out that the prosecutor, Bruce Castor, was doing something that was unfair and it wasn't right. He said it was no need and it was harmful to him. So what Bruce Castor did, it was no need for it and it was harmful. And with that, I'm going to say, this is the news in you. North, East, West, South. Unite from every alley in Cali, intersection in Back Street. Subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up on your way out the door.